One of the things I saw recently, you, you probably saw this too, uh, the report from Netflix where they publish their annual EDI and stats uh, and therefore you see a company that has made a commitment in terms of um, cultural change, has the, has the data to, to understand how they're performing and, and, and then has the will and the transparency to share that progress. I think, you know, whether it's legislation or organisations like Netflix who, who are very transparent about what they're doing, there seems to be, you know, that seems to be a good way to understand what best practice looks like uh, and, and try to get it across to the industry. You know, what, what else do you think are the, are the things that organisations can really do to improve ED&I, you know, particularly within recruitment? Yeah, so definitely leveraging better technology is is probably a key part of the equation and understanding uh, in which parts of the processes you can apply uh, what piece of technology is quite key. There's a lot of um, vendors out there helping you with more equitable job ad uh, writing and, and those kind of things. There's vendors who have um, definitely anonymous application processes who redact the uh, resume information, uh, the information on the resumes and the CV. So there's definitely a lot of stuff out there. I think a lot have also invested in the reporting and analytics capabilities. Um, but really, I think the first step really is to say what are the things that you are gunning for. It's, it's, it's in, in, in Germany, it's much around gender bias, you know, yeah. um, in other territories is obviously around ethnic origin, around race. Um, also, sometimes for managerial positions, it's around university background, you know, these elitist clubs coming from one university only being in, in your leadership team is also a certain form of, um, you know, bias and definitely something where you kind of need to really look what are some of the areas where you can improve. So having that conversation, setting up those metrics and being transparent about it is, I think, the, the best way. As a candidate, if I was able to see what an organization was doing in real time and like, you know, putting all those metrics out on the career side in real time yeah. with real data for the job that I'm applying to would be the ideal case because then I can see, okay, are they really taking this, you know, their women in tech initiative, uh, are they taking that seriously and how many women actually get hired, how many women get promoted, right, for, for this particular example, but also for other yeah. areas, obviously, um, having that information live on the website could actually make a, a huge, huge difference.